Hi guys, it's Night Fear, and I am coming on today to do my TBR for that 70s horror reading challenge. Uh, this challenge is going to be throughout the month of September. Um, it's all about reading horror books, and it is hosted by Books of Blood, and I will link his, whoa, sorry about that, I will link his um, announcement video down below. So, this is all about reading um, books that are kind of um, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, you'll understand when I start going. So, the first challenge is The Power of Christ Compels You, which is from The Exorcist. Um, and then you're supposed to read a um, book about demonic possession. Um, I chose to read um, The Suffering by Ren uh, Chepeco. This is the second one. The first one is The Girl from the Well. Um, it was a really, really good book. Um, and this one I'm thinking continues from that one. And if it does, then this fits the, the prompt. If it doesn't end up fend uh, fulfilling that prompt, I will find another book, but I'm pretty sure it does. So, um, but this, uh, the first one was about a girl, uh, a ghost, she's a ghost. Um, and, um, she, mm, I'm trying to think of what I, what I can tell you without spoiling um, okay, let me, the suffering is horrors, oh wait, no, never mind, I can't read that, um, it's a ghost, it's, um, about why the ghost is a ghost, um, what happens to her, what happens to another boy that f discovers her, um, it, 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 it's a really good book. I just don't want to spoil the first one. So, but anyway, I'm pretty sure that this one will, um, fit that prompt. I'm not with it today, guys. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, the next one is Get Out, which is from the Amityville Horror. Um, and then he wanted us to read A True Haunting. Um, so this one I'm reading A Haunted House Love Story. Um, by Mark Spencer, and this one is, um, The Ghost of the Allen House, um, and it's like a family, you know, it's a ghost story, it's a family moves in, and they find out about the ghosts that are haunting this, this house, so, um, I don't know, it sounded interesting, so we will see, we will see, um, the next one is, I Love the Smell of Napalm in the Morning, and that's from Apocalypse Now, um, to read a Vietnam or a Vietnam vet story. Um, and once again, it has to be, um, horror. <laughs> this one was the hardest to find. Um, but I, um, uh, found one. It's called The Night Hunter by, um, Michael G. Tom Thomas. And it is actually during the Vietnam War. Um, there's a kind of a battle going around, going on, you know, we're following, I, I don't know, which side or whatever maybe we're following both sides but something is hunting um the um troops so um and that something is not human isn't that a cool cover though love it um so it sounds real interesting i don't usually read war books of any kind so it's going to be something um very very different for me to read um, the next one is, um, you yell shark, we've got a panic on our hands. And that's from Jaws. Um, seen the movies, all of the movies, loved the movies, never read the book. Um, but I'm not, I didn't pick Jaws for this one. I picked the Meg. Um, and this one I have read the book or not read the book. I have seen the movie. I haven't read the book. Um, this is by Steve Alton. Um, and I, I just, uh, I love the movie so much and I love sharks and I'm just, I'm just really excited to, to read this. And this is about a megalodon, um, basically. And it says, if you see her glow, it's too late. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. Um, and I've had it for a while and I don't know why I haven't read it yet. So I'm kind of glad I haven't though, cause it's a perfect one for, for this one. Um, oh yeah, it's the, the prompt is killer animals, um, basically, um, <laughs> So, and obviously, the Meg is a killer animal. Okay, so then the next one is, They're All Gonna Laugh at You 
by, and that's from Carrie. <laughs> Um, and this one is uh, an author made a debut in the 70s. Um, and this prompt is all about King because, of course, you know, <laughs> um, I'm going to read Stephen King's newest um, and it's called Billy Summers. Um, and I actually have no idea what this one is about. Um, he it says he's a man in a room with a gun. Um Um, yeah, so I'm going to, to read him, um, to read this one and it's, yeah, and it's due at the library like the first week. So this one's one of the first books I'm going to have to read. Um, but Stephen King did make his, his debut with Carrie in the, uh, seventies and actually it was 1974 cause that's when I was born. And it's cool that this readathon is being held in September because, um, Stephen King's birthday is in September and so is mine. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, so I'm reading, uh, Billy Summers by Stephen King for that. Um, then we have, look at me, Damien, uh, it's all for you. And that's the, um, from the Omen. Um, and this one were to, um, read creepy or evil children. I'm pretty sure this one fits. Um, it sounds like it does. Um, but this is, we have always lived in the castle by Shirley Jackson, um, and this is, um, this, a whole family gets killed, um, gets murdered and they think that the daughter did it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, evil children and it's really short and I've, I've wanted to read this one for a while. My library finally got it. Um, I have read the haunting of Hill house. I wasn't that impressed, but I thought I would try another one and see if I liked it better. Um, I mean, the haunting of Hill house was okay. It just wasn't. I don't know. It just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so then we have a novel set in the 1970s. Now, for this one, I'm not sure if it was is set in the 70s. I'm assuming it is because it was written in the 1970s. Um, so I'm hoping, or I'm hoping it's one of those books that doesn't really say, and so because it's written then, that it's probably set then. Um, but that is The Auctioneer by Joan Sampson. Um, this is one that is about a, um, a small community and they have decided that they want to, um, hire another police officer. And to do that, they have decided that they're going to have an auction. Um, and it's supposed to be a, like a series of auctions. So people are supposed to donate more than once. And for people that like only donate one item or aren't going to donate at all, accidents start happening to these people. So, um, it sounds kind of weird. Um, from what I read, I, she died like not too long after, um, this book was published. Um, and also I guess it's, it's kind of a, what they call a slow burn horror. I don't know, but we're going to read it <laughs> and see what it's all about. Cause it sounds interesting and it's the book that I picked. And the last one is to read a 70s style cover. Now for this, I wasn't quite sure what is considered a 70s style cover, but as soon as I saw this, I was like, that that to me works so i hope this works <laughs> i hope um but that is carnival by william w johnston this <laughs> i love this cover um i'm gonna actually have to see if i can if this book is any good i'm gonna have to see if i can find this book and especially with this if it has a different cover i definitely want it this cover this cover is amazing now the funny thing about this book is william w johnston actually writes um westerns I couldn't find any other horror because I was looking in my library um, because just so happened this author came up and it was like all the all there was was like um, uh, westerns and I was like that is so weird but I, I don't know maybe he just felt like writing a horror one day I have no idea but um, this is a <laughs> it's just what it says it's a carnival it's a you know, creepy satanic carnival comes into town and what happens, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those cool books. So, um, but I'm, I don't know. I think I'm almost most excited for, to see what this one is like. Um, just because I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, these are all the books that I'm, I'm going to read for this readathon. I'm really excited about this. Um, it's kind of nice to, um, 
get into horror a month a month early you know than normal because a lot of people wait until october so i'm uh gonna start this lovely you know scary season out uh, a little sooner um so let me know in the comments below if you're going to be participating um in this readathon or if you've read any of these books let me know what you thought about them please remember to always be kind to one another and once again i'm going to link um books of blood down below please um check out his video and if you're not already subscribed to his channel go ahead and you know subscribe he's he's pretty great especially if you like horror books he he's just his channel is amazing anyway guys thank you so much and i'll see you again soon bye